married filing separately. If your filing status is married filing separately and your spouse itemizes deductions on their return, check the spouse itemizes on a separate return or you were a dual status alien box. So now you've got a situation where if you're married, you have the option of filing married filing joint, uh, which would be the standard option, which means that the standard deduction you would be think would basically be double what it would for a single filer. But then what if you file married filing separately? If you file married filing separately, you would think that the standard deduction would basically bounce back to what it would be if you filed sing single, which is often the case if you would have filed basically uh, as, an, as a standard deduction if filed married filing joint. But if you're in a situation where one of the spouses would itemize, why would they itemize? Because their itemized deductions are greater than the standard deduction then the IRS is going to be wary of, of a situation where people are going to try to split uh, filing separately just for tax benefits, having one person take the greater standard, uh, the greater itemized deduction and the other still getting uh, the standard deduction. So you've got to let the IRS know that if one spouse took the, the itemized deduction, that's, that may limit the other spouse from taking you know, the standard deduction on uh, the other on the other side when you're filing two returns instead of one married filing separate returns instead of one married filing joint return so if your filing status is married filing separately and your spouse was born before january 2nd 1958 or was blind at the end of 2022 you can check the appropriate boxes on the line labeled age blindness if your spouse had no income isn't filing a return and can't be claimed as a dependent on another person's return